Hello guys, in today's video we're going to take a look on how to use the gripper for drawing the hand. Now what we're going to cover is how to grow the thumb muscle, this one muscle, I don't know if you can see it but it's this one, the pinky pad, very important muscle mostly for top rolling and also I want to show you how to increase your containment using this now let's cover why does a bigger hand help you in armor sling well let's say you're a top roller oh, if you're a top roller you want to limit the opponent coverage around the, your thumb as much as possible to not let him get his cup and obviously top roll easier without using that much biceps now uh, for hooking it's a little bit different a bigger hand doesn't truly help you that much Still, if you're facing a, it depends what you're facing, if you're facing a hooker, you want to have a wide palm and thick fingers to maintain as much of your pronation, that's because adding pronation in a hook is more efficient, more energy saving, and it's better long term for the elbow. For the cup, depends if the opponent supinates or not if he doesn't supinate also a bigger hand and a wider one helps a little bit because the force distributed through the hand is over a larger rena which makes it easier for you but when you're in the strap it doesn't matter almost no more it's mostly in the coverage only that matters and that's the only thing so it mostly matters as a top roller but for me it still matters a lot even though I'm a hooker yes I made a video not long ago maybe one or two months months where I talked why top roll is better than hook but I changed my mind and I've seen that the top roll is kind of hard on the wrist joint and if you don't know how to apply the strength to all your opponents into their weakness you will not be able to top roll and I kind of got into a problem where they, if they used finger pressure and squeezed me really hard I could not pronate only if I go to a king's move or a open top roll great moves but I kind of switched from the outside lane to the inside lane the mostly the move that I'm mostly using that kind of gets the shape of outside armor sling is the high hook where you are cupping using back pressure and pronation the most dominant move that's the last move that resembles my top roll then I use the hook with supination and also combining it with a little bit of ulnar deviation uh, and then there's the press which is the hook with supination and the flop press I'm kind of new to the flop press but it's still a great move. so let's get into the first exercise for the hand now that we've talked about why it does help a lot and kind of a little bit about me but before we get in I like to talk to you and say that you should subscribe to my channel if you truly don't want to miss more things I'm posting every Sunday uh, next month I want to do my first live 
uh, and I'm posting every Sunday very informal videos I'm not that guy that posts every day or every two days I post a great video every Sunday so let's go to the first muscle which was the index finger flexor I've go to almost 20 kilos I'm using it for like six or seven months I've used the gripper so you kind of take it like this most people use it like this but you reverse it put, put your middle thumb knuckle as high as possible until you reach that line on your thumb and then you put it on the third knuckle or the knuckle first from the palm of the index knuckle and with full range of motion you let it fully extend and then fully contract full extension full contraction let me show you from this side full contraction full extension and do reps of 10 to 20 reps this will grow this muscle and when your opponent tries to grip up with you if you have this muscle big enough he will run into problems with gripping very helpful for cooking and top uh, now the next one is for the thumb also very important muscle for pronating in a top roll so what you wanna do is place it on the same knuckle of the thumb and on the middle of your palm like right here and just like this contract contract full extension full contraction full contraction full extension full range of motion because we don't need that much strength in the hand because we are not trying to use these muscles getting them stronger is not going to affect you want more hypertrophy in them not endurance not strength hypertrophy so again 10 to 20 reps try to avoid tendonitis as much as possible also kind of thing uh, I want to say go as much as you can for the top roll hook is very bad for your elbow joint I don't know if you can see my forearms this little tendon gets very strained from arm wrestling training mostly on the table uh, like two weeks ago I faced a very strong opponent with a very strong hook but I've kind of set my position for defensive and then kind of get my way out and then pressed and won but long story short I won all rounds now let's get to the pinky pad the pinky pad is pretty small is this see how it contracts this muscle is mostly for top rolling also good for hooking for increasing the diameter of your arm of your arm of your hand but it's mostly for top rolling because if we top roll and we aren't the, the pinky pad has the role of flexing the 
ring, ring finger and the pinky finger. If we aren't holding these fingers, we can't truly pronate our way out of their cup and their finger pressure. So you need to get these muscles strong. For hooking, we mostly use supination, which means that we don't need that much. Now, how to exercise it? Place it right here. Contract the thumb. Place it right here. Then take the pinky and the ring mass fingers. Place them on the first knuckle from the hand. And... Fully extend, contract, fully extend, contract, fully extend, contract, and doing reps. This will probably help you. In uh, seven months, I think that I grew from what I could remember was a week ago. I grew my hands three centimeters, which is great. Now, I'm going to pause the video, drink a little bit of water and then come on how to work your containment for arm wrestling and why it helps a lot. So I already made a video talking about how to use the gripper for containment. You can go and check that out. But let's make a quick resume. But before I do that, I said that if I'm going to show you three exercises with the gripper, why wouldn't I show you the one with the containment? That's also great. It's uh, mostly if you're a low hand top roller, where you're giving out your rise. You need strong fingers and if you're a hooker facing uh, top rollers that's because they will attack the fingers it depends how you apply your cup uh, yeah let's get into so first we flex the fingers and where it contracts like this right there we're going to place it as high as possible on the first digits of the fingers and doing reps just like this just like this by doing this you can also work with it in a in a contracted position try to not use the thumb that much please now as I said the cup is made from containment and cupping I've made a video a link will be in the card section and at the end where I talk about wrist curls and how to develop your cup for the best as an arm wrestler go check that out there we cover do's and don'ts mistakes and what to do with it rip ranges, strength, hypertrophy that kinds and also please go and check uh, my first video where I did the hooker like Devon Larat there I think I done 17 or 18.25 kilos for 5 reps great it felt pretty bad on the elbow and what can I say subscribe to the channel do not lose more information click the notification button Give me a like, I love it, comment down below and also 
share with your friends. Bye and see you in the next video.